being with us and keeping us safe of this uh, wicked world, Father Yahweh. We thank you for pulling us out of that wicked world and, and bringing us into your marvelous light. We thank you for the bishops that you speak through, Father Yahweh. We, we know that your words, Father Yahweh. We just ask that those who are going through things, Father Yahweh, have mercy upon them, Father Yahweh. Those who are sick and afflicted tonight, touch and heal them, Father Yahweh. By their, by their faith with you, they are healed, Father Yahweh. We thank you for all things. Look after the, the bishops tonight and those who are, are on their way tonight. Keep them safe in these dangerous roads. We ask Yahweh to be upon the saints of Mexico and love it well as well. We thank you for all things, Lord. We, in Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. I'm going to read out of Philippians 2 and 2. Fulfill ye my joy. Do ye be like-minded, having the same mind, being one of accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem others better themselves. Amen? Amen. We thank Yahweh for those words. Amen? That's why we're here. We're here to be saved. We're here to, to uh, attain you know, the, the reward in the end. That's why we have to st stick to this th uh, thing until the end. You know, I know Satan's been fighting with us. Satan's been making our lives miserable. But you know what? Yahweh loves that because he gets the glory, not Satan. That's why we go through these things. On a day-to-day -day basis, that's why we have to look up to even the bishops and ask them for, to, to, you know, guide you back to Yahweh if you're, if you're feeling weak. They, they're, they're set up to do these things. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. So let's, let's be strong. Let's get ready to hear the word because Yahweh is going to, you know, guide us and see where we need to go. And, and he's going to teach us the way of his ways. Amen? Amen? So let's all remain standing and receive Pastor Dewar by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Him once again. You may all be seated. Thank Yahweh for Brother Chris conducting the praise services or the, the introductory praise services this evening. Thank Yahweh for being in His house one more time. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm encouraged to go on in this way. Amen. Hallelujah. My eyes have come open to Yahweh. Hallelujah. Seeing what majesty he has and what power he has. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I had, to, I had to check with the prophet to make sure that he didn't have words. Y'all hadn't showed anything. Amen. But thank Yahweh for allowing me to have another breath. Because yes, like I said, I'm encouraged to go on in this way. Yes, Lord. The more I give myself over to Yahweh, the more sweet this thing is to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the more sweet this thing is to me, the less I, the less I am encouraged to sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more I hate the sin that was within me before. Amen. And the more I'm learning to delight in his ways. Hallelujah. Amen. The gates of heaven are becoming more clear and more clear on how to get there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the more you do this thing the right way, the more you shed off the mortal body, the more you shed off the sins that beset you before. The more beautiful Yahweh is to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I have to start off this by sharing something that Yahweh showed me not too long ago. You know, there's power in his name. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. There's power in the name of Yahweh. When you call on him, he does things for us. Amen. Amen. But at this time, I, I had some words of encouragement, but at this time, we're going to go ahead and let the beloved prophet come up here. So let's all rise. Amen. And let us receive our beloved prophet Washington by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Amen. We all can be seated. Amen. To thank Yahweh for Pastor Desi. Amen. 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 Pastor that's here, that's ready to go ahead and do what the uh, uh, what the spirit needs of them. Amen. To be able to tend to the body here. Hallelujah. How's everyone doing this night? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's truly wonderful to hear. Uh, I just definitely want to give double honor to Apostle Washington, my beloved father. and uh, Truly thank Yahweh for that man and his labor that he um, continues to put forth here in these last and evil days. Thank Yahweh for the fivefold ministry, which we also have here. Thank Yahweh for the beautiful wife and the children that my Lord have blessed me with. 
even though I'm not worthy of such, amen, but um, it's truly a good thing to serve the Lord in these last and evil days where men, they don't want to endure sound doctrine and have a tendency to want to just follow after, after the world. Amen. Amen. But, you know, in the house of Yahshua here, Understand what Apostle Paul had once said, that is that he'd rather suffer affliction. And that's what, exactly what we're doing here. Amen. Suffer affliction with the children of God. Amen. Then to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Amen. Because that's what it is. You know, sin out there, one day the Lord is going to come back. And all this that the world has intended to live for and, and that makes up their life, all of that will eventually cease. Yes. And every man and woman will have to give an account to the Lord. What the Bible says that he, he is ready to uh, uh, judge the quick and the dead. Yes. Yes. Amen. And every single one of us, we have to give an account. Amen. So that's why it's very important, saints, that, you know, you don't take the life that's given unto you yes, for a, a granted. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Grace that has been bestowed upon us. It was given so that you and I can have that opportunity Amen. to redeem ourselves, yes, to get correct in his eyes. Have an opportunity to be reconciled unto the Lord. So therefore, once truth has been introduced unto you, don't you know that we're supposed to continue to, to walk in perfectness here? Yes, and the teaching that you receive here. And Satan is so crafty, he's so wise, it's very wicked that he has his tendencies to show up in our lives and, and cause great distraction. Amen. Amen. And that's why you have to always slow down and Take in consideration how important salvation is yes, to you. You have to take in consideration what you have to destroy. Yes, um, because without it, you know, you won't see the Lord in peace. Amen. So that's why you are not coming to the house of Yahweh to be reminded of how we are to be. Hallelujah. To be shown on what we need to shed so that we can obtain salvation. Yes. Amen. At this time here, I'd like to call everyone's attention. See here, we're going to end up going over to First Samuel chapter fifteen. Amen. Little Paul, this water gonna taste better this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Tuesday, it wasn't all that refreshing. <laughs> Amen. But if you have that there, Brother Paul, if you will, sir. First Samuel 15 and 1. Uh-huh. For it is written. Yes, sir. Samuel. Samuel. Also said unto Saul. Samuel also said unto Saul. The, the, the Yahweh sent me to anoint thee. You know that Samuel, he was a prophet of the Most High God, Yahweh. Amen. 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 And one thing about how our God truly works is that he always put men in your life that will lead you into truth. Amen. Amen. One whom the Lord always communicate with to be able to, to help us. Amen. Amen. That's what we have here in the house of Yahweh. Yahweh has blessed us with a fivefold ministry. Amen. You, you can't go anywhere else where you're going to be able to find apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers here which has been established for the perfecting of the saints. And we need every single one of these gifts in here. Yes, Lord. Amen. And that's how you and I are going to truly be perfected here. Amen. Hallelujah. And with these gifts that has been established yes, Lord. comes words of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. And it's very important to every single one of us that we take heed to that which has been shared. Hallelujah. Um, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So here comes Samuel here coming unto Saul. Yes, sir. Yahweh sent me to anoint thee. He said, Yahweh sent me to anoint thee. To be king over his people. To be king over his people. Over Israel. Over Israel. Now, therefore, mm -hmm. hearken thou unto the voice of the, of the words of Yahweh. Do you know that Yahweh has sent Apostle Washington into your life? Hallelujah. Hang on. However it may have came about, maybe I think about Evangelist Davis. Hallelujah, huh? When he first came, of course. Yahweh, what he does, that he he send people that 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 is spiritual minded, Amen, is walking in the spirit to 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 help draw men unto him, Amen, Amen, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So I think about it that how when he first came into the house of Yahweh, um, that how uh, uh, Yahweh had used Apostle Washington based off the word that came forth from him to be able to uh, 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 cause this man to change, 
Amen. Amen. So we, here you have Samuel here. He's coming unto David who the Lord has set up. So every single one of us have been set up for a purpose. Hallelujah. And that purpose is for us to walk in righteousness, to be able to go back out into the world and implement this teaching unto people. Amen. Yes, I read it. Now, therefore, now, therefore, hearken thou unto the voice of the words of Yahweh. He said, now I want you to hearken, therefore, unto the voice of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So that's something that you're going to have to do. Hearken, man, you're going to have to humble yourself. Amen. And, and, and hear what the Spirit have to say unto you. Amen. That's the first thing you have to do. You have to humble yourself. If you won't humble yourself, you're not going to hearken. You're not going to listen. I know that I've been there many times in my life. How the Spirit will come forth and it, it plead with me. Amen. It want me to hearken unto it. But I would never humble myself. And because doing so, I found myself getting into a whole lot of trouble. I know I can't be the only one. Amen. Hallelujah. That Amen. decide not to just hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. But you have to remember that which is set up before you is always for your safety. Amen. Amen. It, it always has your best interest at heart. Yes, yes, sir. Thus said Yahweh of hosts. Thus said Yahweh of hosts. I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. I remember that which Amalek had did to Israel. How he had laid, laid wait for him in the way. How he had laid wait for you in the way. When he came up from Egypt. When he came up from Egypt. Now now go. Now go. And smite Amalek. Now go and smite Amalek. And utterly destroy all mm -hmm. that they have. You're going to always receive instructions in here. Amen. Things that you and I have to utterly destroy. Amen. I mean, the Yahweh have the words of salvation, not us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everybody that comes into this house of Yahweh, you have, to, you have to hear what he has for you in order for you to receive it. Yes, sir, read it. Now go. Now go. And smite Amalek. Now go and smite Amalek. And utterly destroy all that they have. And utterly destroy all that he had. And spare them not. And it was a reason why Yahweh wanted them to do this. Yes, Lord. Because what was going to take place is that when they become, began to uh, make them tributaries, in other words, you're going to allow them to dwell with you and all of that. Amen. You'll find yourself taking on their ways. Amen. And when you take on the ways of the world, it's impossible to please the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If he came into the world to preach against sin, what make you think that you are able to save or serve him while you win sin? Amen. So it takes the spirit of Yahweh to point out certain things for us to utterly destroy. You have to get rid of it immediately. Yes. There was a time where everybody knew about my testimony. And as a testimony now uh, that I have to, that I use to try to help people come to realization of what you have to get rid of. Amen. There was a time where, you know, how the Bible says that, that, uh, uh, um, uh, how we shouldn't find ourselves in, in costly array and all of that. Amen. So, of course, I had myself a little watch. And I call it a little watch because I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And that's how it comes down. To it. Whenever there's something that you don't see nothing wrong with it, it becomes it's, it's a little thing. Amen. So, of course, I had this watch at one time, and in my watch, I had a whole bunch of diamonds. They weren't real. <laughs> Amen. I said it wasn't real. I had my whole bunch of diamonds and all of that. Uh -huh. And my father, huh, here comes the man of God, yes, instructed me to hearken to the voice of the Lord. Speaking about how we as, 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 as people that walk in holiness, that we don't adorn ourselves in things like this. Amen. Amen. This is what the world do and all of that. But yet, I want to be part of the world. So therefore, I took, I had my watch that was full of diamonds and all of that type of stuff. So my father, he told me, son, you need to destroy this. This right here is not the ways of God. But whenever you have your own agenda, you don't see nothing wrong. Yeah. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. You can't allow the, 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 uh, the natural things of this world to blind your eyes based on what the, what the Lord have for you. Amen. Hmm? So, of course, I had my, my, my watch and it had all the diamonds in it and all of that. And so... Whatever's done in the dark, it's going to come to light. Amen? Amen. So I got caught with it. He told his son, me that is, son, I need you to utterly destroy that. Of course, I, I didn't want to. Being crafty, that's how many of us are. We'll say amen, hallelujah, yes, sir. I hear you and all that. But yeah, we go and we'll go ahead and, and, and hide the accursed thing. Many of us become a can in here. Um, the Spirit told the children of Israel what they should do. As far as what they was not supposed to possess. Amen. Yahweh gave them instructions. And so all that the gold and all that that, uh, uh, that the Israelites was going to take from the enemy, this was all supposed to be going up to Yahweh as a sacrifice. Hallelujah. 
But what Achan do, Achan went and he took the accursed thing. And he began to trouble Israel because what he saw was it was beautiful in his eyes. So there's some things in our life it's beautiful. That's why you have a problem getting rid of. You like it. And so nonetheless, I refuse to destroy it. And so one day he caught me with it again. And one thing about the spirit, it always catches us. We I think we crafty. We think we slick. Amen. The spirit always catches us. Amen. Huh? So he went and he got the watch. He said, son, come on into the garage. Let me show you how to utterly destroy it, completely destroy it. Amen. Hallelujah. So he took me in the garage and he put that watch there on the ground. Amen. It took a hammer. Big old hammer. Hallelujah. And began to uh, break it into pieces. Diamonds went here and diamonds went there. Diamonds went here and diamonds went there. And he looked at me. He said, son, this is how you utterly destroy. Um, this is how you utterly destroy the iniquity. Hallelujah. The things that are not of God. Amen. Amen. So that's what we have to do here. So the word of Yahweh came unto Samuel. And he said that, now go and smite Amalek. And utterly destroy all that they have. Hmm. I want you to do this, uh, 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 Saul. Because I acknowledge, I remember what they did unto you when y'all came up out of Egypt. Amen. When the children of Israel, when they came up out of Egypt, it said that the Amalekites, they warred with the children of Israel. They fought against them. Amen. So, you know, all of that sin that's within us, don't you know, it fight against the right ways of Yahweh. Hallelujah. It, it, it's trying to kill you. Amen. So when you come into the house of Yahweh, the spirit teach you how to fight against Amalek. It teach you how to fight against your uh, uh, against the sins of the world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Many of us didn't know what adultery was. Fornication was. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. If you knew it, then you would have came out of it. Amen. So, and when the spirit began to manifest these things into you, then you realize, okay, what I'm doing is wrong. The spirit taught you how to fight. I mean, how to utterly destroy the Amalekites, utterly destroy all that stuff that's fighting against you. Amen. So, yeah, sin in the world is fighting against you. Bible says that there's two members warring in my flesh, right? There's two of us. There's things warring within you. So that, that, that means there's something that's fighting against you that's trying to destroy you. So that you won't have an opportunity for salvation. Amen. But you serve a God, Yahweh. He said, I remember what Amalek, Amalek did unto you. Amen. Yes, sir. Now go. Now, now I want you to go. And smite Amalek. I want you to go and I want you to uh, fight against your trials and tribulations. Amen. That's what I want you to do. I want you to. Now you know how to fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through Yahshua the Messiah. We are, we, now we know how to fight our trials and tribulations. Amen. Yes, sir, read it. Now go and smite Amalek. Now go and smite them. And utterly destroy all that they have. And utterly destroy all that they have. And spare them not. And spare them not. But slay both men and Come women. Come on, don't spare nothing. Hallelujah, huh? Spare, it says spare them not. There's Amen. something when the word go forth, it seems very sensitive to our, our person. Amen? Amen? It seems very sensitive to our character. And that's when you find yourself getting upset because that's something that you don't want to spare. You, you, you don't want to give this up. Amen. But the Bible says, spare them not. But, uh -huh. slay, but slay both men and women. But slay both men and women. Infant. Infant. And suckling. Suckling. Ox and sheep. Ox and sheep. Camel and ass. Camel and ass. And, and Saul gathered the I people. love the specifics of things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, huh? Everything. I love the specifics of things. Yes, Lord. Honor. Bible says that it's given unto us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Yes. So sometimes the men of God will sit down with you and we'll point certain things out, get deep into your business. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Trying to get you to understand that you're going to have to utterly destroy this here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hallelujah. Without it, you won't see the Lord in peace. Amen. The Bible says that uh, 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 the word of Yahweh is designed so that we can renounce the hidden things of dishonesty. Amen. Otherwise, you got to put, put away, uh, uh, put it away. You got to stop claiming it. You got to stop accepting that. Uh -huh. Renounce it. I'm not going to hold to this. Gather the people together. And number them and, and tell them. And number them and tell them. 200,000 footmen. 200,000 footmen. And 2,000 2, men of Judea. And 2,000 men of Judea. And, 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 and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to the city of Emelech. And Saul came to the city of Emelech. And lay wait in the valley. Uh-huh. And Saul said unto the Can Canaanite. Yes, sir. Go depart. Go depart. And get you down from among the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. Lest I destroy you See, with them. It seemed like Saul about to do the right thing. That's how it is in here. We, we, the word go forth. 
We sit here and we say amen or hallelujah, huh? Rock back and forth and get up and we perceive that you're going to do the right thing. Because as a bishop, that's how we, we, we were persuaded. Hallelujah, that you will do the right thing. That's how, that's how we want to see things. Because we want to see everybody here saved. So it, it, it seemed like Saul was going to go off and do the right thing. Perform. Hallelujah, huh? Amen. See, but I'm telling you, I'm telling the truth right here. That when you hear the gospel preach, you have to take heed to yourself. Hallelujah. Because this flesh, it would deceive you. Every, how many of us come in here and hear one thing? Hallelujah. Outside of what the Spirit has been sharing with you. You get your own interpretation. Which you shouldn't because the Spirit is already interpreted for you. <laughs> Amen. But it is based off what we don't want to spare. Yeah. Mm? Exactly. What we don't want to give, give, give up. Uh -huh. mm? So he, he, as he went off, seemed as though he was going to do the right thing. Amen. Hallelujah. That's many of us. We go out these doors and seem like we're going to do the right thing. Amen. But I'm persuaded. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That you would do these things that are accompanied to salvation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. For he showed kindness to all the children. Of For Israel. he had showed kindness unto all the children of Israel. Uh huh. And when they came up out of Egypt. Yes, sir. So, so the Canaanites departed from from among the Amalekites. Yes, sir. And Saul smote the Amalekites from from how? For Havala. Havala until uh -huh. thou comest to Shur. Yes, sir. That is over against Egypt. Yes, sir. And he took Agag to the. But he of, took Agag to the king of the Amalekites. But he alive. took Agag. Hallelujah, huh? Said he smoked the Amalekites. But last time I checked, I believe that Agag was the king of the Amalekites. Yeah, uh -huh. So, but why did he take him? Hmm? Many of us, when we don't get, do uh, uh, what the Spirit is instructing of us, us to do wholeheartedly, he thought he had a better plan, huh? Not giving a hundred percent of what the Spirit is asking. Hmm? That's what happened with Ananias and Sapphira. Hmm? Putting it out there as if they did everything according to what they were said they was doing. But yet they took a portion of it and they went ahead and hid it. Yep. Hallelujah, huh? Yeah, and they paid for it. The Bible says that they dropped down dead. They yielded up the ghost because of their disobedience. Amen. Amen. So we wonder why things transpire in our lives where you are right now. What disobedience that falls in your court. It's the disobedience that brings forth sin. Amen. That's why whenever the word going forth, you have to give your most earnest ear. Amen. To what the Spirit is saying. Yes, Lord. You better take heed to what the Spirit is saying. Come on, Hallelujah. Without, I'm telling you, you're going to mess up salvation. When the children of Israel, when they was going to be delivered from bondage, there was something that they had to do in order to be delivered from oppression of the Egyptians. Amen. I mean, to the T. Exodus 12. Keep saying me though. Exodus 12 and 1. Amen. Exodus 12 and 1. Yes, sir. And, and Yahweh spake, spake unto Moses. And Yahweh has spake unto Moses. And Aaron in the land of Egypt. Oh, they go Yahweh again. He's speaking again. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Yahweh came and he spoke unto Samuel to give Saul some instructions. Here is Yahweh again. He's coming unto Moses and Aaron. In the land of Egypt. In the saying, land of Egypt. Saying, saying. This month. This month. Shall be unto you. This month shall be unto you. The beginning of months. Okay, here come deliverance. Hallelujah. Amen. This month here, deliverance from the begin. Amen. Children of Israel, huh? Amen. No different than you. Whenever day you decide to come in here. Some of us came in in 2002. Some of us came in in 1995. You name, you name it. Some of us came in to the year 2024. This month, hallelujah, this year, this day. Shall uh -huh. be unto you. Shall be unto you. The beginning of months. The beginning of months. And it shall be the first this month This should be of the, the beginning of you. change for you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. This should be the beginning of change for you. Yes, sir, read it. And 
speak ye unto all the congregation of I, Israel. And now I want you to speak you unto all the congregation of Israel. Amen. Yeah, so it, it get us all in here. Yes, Lord. Mm, I, from the bishop on down, it get us all in here. Yes, sir, read it. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel. Saying. Saying. In the tenth day. In the tenth day. Of this month. Of this month. They shall take to them every man a lamb. Uh, but yeah, you, you want to do it on the eleventh. Amen. <laughs> I got something to do. Can we, can we, can we do it? Can, can we do it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Amen. Can, can, can we do it next week? Yes. The children of Israel, they the one was crying out for deliverance. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. They was the one crying out for deliverance and bondage for 400 years. Hallelujah. You the one say that you want to be saved, right? Amen. You the one say that I can't wait to get to heaven to get my mansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Lord said, I shall go away and prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I'm going to get mine, huh? Oh, yeah. I want mine to be designed like the downtown Abbey. Amen. I want mine to look like a grand home. <laughs> Just trying to get a paint a picture of how people think. Amen. They say they, they want to go to heaven. Hmm? Yes. Amen. But yet they don't do what they need to do. Yes. They won't pay the price. Amen. Uh -huh. So he said that. So speaking to all the congregation of Israel, saying in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb. They shall take to them every man a lamb. According to the house of their fathers. According to the house of their fathers. A lamb for an house. He said, every man, I'm telling you, what I, what I say to one, I say it to all. Amen. Amen. There's, the Bible says there's one Lord. Huh? There's one faith. And there's one baptism. What I say to one, I say to all. The world got it all messed up. All the different ways of salvation. Amen. Lord came into the world. He only preached one gospel. Amen. He said, brother, brother, I say unto you. Hallelujah. If any man try to enter into the door of the Lord here, the sheepfold here. Yeah. Hmm? Try to climb up another way. He said the same as a thief and a robber. So you just can't believe the way you want to believe. Right. Yeah. Hmm? You can't do what you want to do. Hallelujah. You, you can't take this and leave that out. Yeah. And think that you're going to receive salvation. Right. He said on the 10th day. Of this month. Of this month, Israel. Hallelujah. They shall take to them every man a lamb. They, they shall they. take unto them every man. A lamb. Oh, yeah, that gets you women. Hallelujah. You come from a man, right? Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that Yahweh, he put Adam down to sleep, didn't he? Yes. Every man. Hallelujah. Yes, I read it. A lamb. A lamb. According to the house of their fathers. I don't like lambs. <laughs> it can't be a cow. Where's the beef? This ain't Arby's. A lamb. Yeah. You have to want what the Lord wants. See, he already worked out salvation. Hallelujah, huh? He already worked out salvation. The price has already been paid. All he's looking for us is obedience. Hallelujah, huh? In order to receive salvation. Yes, sir, read it. According to the house of their fathers. According to the house of their fathers. A lamb for an house. A lamb for a house. And if the household be too be too little. Ooh, for listen the lamb, to this. If the household be, be too, too little, little for the lamb. Ooh, I love see the spirit. It worked everything out already. Hallelujah. It worked everything out already. Amen. How many, many of us are, are thinkers, right? How many put together a plan? An event or something like that, and somebody come and they say, "Well, what about these?" Say, "No, don't worry about it. I already got it. <laughs> it's already covered. Hallelujah! Amen. It's already done. It's already taken care of." Amen. Mm? We did that. That that wear it too much. Mm? The spirit already worked out salvation for you. Mm? All you gotta do is just follow it. That's all we gotta do is follow it. Amen. Amen. He said, and he said, and if the household be too little. For the lamb. It's just only me <laughs> and my child here. All we going to do is just bake this cake and die. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just us. Yeah. If the house be too little. For the lamb. For the lamb. Let him and his neighbor. Let him and his neighbor. Next unto his house take it. Huh? He said that once again, if the house be too little for the lamb. Let him. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we see salvation. It's just what he's asking of me is too grand. <laughs> The lamb, Yeshua, is too big. What he's asking is too much for us. Uh, that's why the many of those disciples, they walked away. What he was asking for, 
um, based off the carnal mind and the thinking of a man, is too much. Amen. That's why he said, who shall hear this? Why not? We do it when it comes to that as natural. Yes. When uh, This is just too big. A lot of people drop out of college because it's too, the course is too much. Amen. 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 That's true. My Amen. wife right now, she's in the back right now doing some homework and all that. She's listening. And of course, she's about to graduate. She's going to be a teacher and all that. So right now, she's doing her student teaching. Yes. Right? Where she goes to the, the, the school and all of that. But she also has this whole boatload of work. Yes. Extensive. Right? Amen. Amen. And it's very wearisome to the flesh. A lot of times, they baby, take it one day at a time. So the people, the principal and the teacher that she's working with, they were saying, well, yeah, the curriculum wasn't like this when we was doing it. I don't see how you're doing it. It's too much. It's too big. Um, but one thing about my wife, when you stay in that word, she said, just like off the, 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 the TV uh, the show Chosen, she said she loved what Matthew had said when God has came to him. He said, I only got one thing to do today. And that's to follow Yahshua the Messiah and everything else will come together. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. So it is not too big. Amen. It's not. The way of the Messiah is not too much to bear. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. That's why I let the world go. Uh -huh. Amen. That's why you let the world go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you went and sold all that equipment you had. Amen. That's why I let the pride go. Amen. We let the cussing go, the fornication go, the adultery go, the drinking go. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Amen. Because the, the way of the Lord is not too big. Amen. Amen. The eyes can deceive. Oh, yeah. He said, but if the house be too little. For the lamb. For the lamb. Let him. Let him. And his neighbor. Let him and his neighbor. Next unto his house, take it according to the number of the souls. See, look, I put people in your lives. Hallelujah. That's going to help you out. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen. How, hence, iron sharpens iron. Oh, Behold true. and how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah. Hmm? The Spirit already worked everything out for you. Amen. Amen. All you need to do is, the Bible says, repent. And believe the gospel. Yeah. That's all we got to do. Hallelujah. That's how simple it is. Repent and just believe it. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Paul. Let him and his neighbor. Let him and his neighbor. Next unto his house, take Next. it according to the number of souls. According to the number of souls. Every man according to his eating. Every man according to his eating. Shall make your account for the lamb. Uh-huh. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Yes, sir. A male of the first Your year. lamb shall be without blemish. Your lamb shall... See, this thing is pure. Amen. The ways of the Messiah is pure. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. He, yeah, he don't want to accept any sacrifice. Wow. Mm, you come in here with a testimony, you're supposed to be pure. Yeah. Hallelujah. You stand before the body with a song, you're supposed to be pure. Amen. Bishop, you stand be up here before the people, you're supposed to be pure. Amen. Mm, how, this is what the children of Israel have to do in order to be delivered from yeah. the bondage of Egypt. Amen. Let your uh, lamb be without blemish. A male of the first year. A male of a first. I mean, it's great in detail. Uh, oh yeah. Not no female lamb, a male. A male. Of the first year. So you come in and you're not paying attention. No wonder you fail it. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. You know, you know you're supposed to be watching. Uh -huh. Bible says if the good man had kept watch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then he would have never have suffered his house to be broken oh, into. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So when you come into the house of Yahweh and you not watching. No wonder you keep reverting back into Egypt. Amen. I guarantee that the Israelites didn't do this here, they'll still be in bondage. Oh, yeah. This thing was so serious that you had strangers that wouldn't even Israelites came out of the bondage of Egypt. Amen. The God that they were serving. Hello, let me follow along. You said you said a land without blemish? Okay, Amen. Okay. okay. <laughs> You said a male oh, Okay, okay, let me follow. Uh -huh. First Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That's how serious this thing is. Yeah. Yes, sir, read it. Your lamb shall, shall, shall be without blemish. Your, your lamb shall, mm -hmm. shall be without blemish. Right, quit looking at mine. <laughs> <laughs> quit looking at mine. Your lamb, your lamb shall be without blemish. Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first of the, of the, first of the year. A male of the first of the year. You mm -hmm. shall take it out from the sheep. You shall take it out from the sheep. Or from the goats. Or from the goats. And ye shall keep it until the 14th day. Oh, but I want it right now. Uh, until the 14th day. <laughs> until uh, some the 14th day. Some of us impatient. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Amen. But I, I want it right now. Until the 14th day. Get ahead of the spirit. 
Uh-huh. Get and get lost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, that well, Pastor B, I thank y'all wait for him. But there was a time where you get ahead of the spirit. We had went on a camping trip. <laughs> Hallelujah, huh? That's why I said you better take keep an eye on yours. They said your lamb. Hmm? Yeah. Those that took their eyes off their lamb hmm? uh-huh. uh, went along with them. They got lost just as just as much as he did. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> we we at the campsite <laughs> putting up our tent. <laughs> Hallelujah, huh? <laughs> Have some patience. It, deliverance is coming. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we are up the we, we we have to be in this world. I know you don't like your affliction and all of that, but deliverance is coming. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Deliverance is coming after you suffer for a little while. After you have suffered, hear that uh, uh, deacon. After you have suffered for a little while. Amen. I want. I want. I want. I want it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's my happiness and I want it now. I don't need no Jay Jit and Wentworth in here and all of that. Amen. Amen. Be patient. Deliverance is coming. Amen. Yes, I read it. And you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. He said, and you shall keep it till the 14th a day of this month of the same month of this month uh-huh see see uh uh uh, uh the lord is coming back yeah. Oh, yeah. he wants you to keep yourself huh until that day Amen. when he's able to take you back with him hallelujah you got to keep yourself Amen. Amen. you got to keep that leap but you got you got to keep yourself oh yeah i draw what you shared with me the other day you said that you really want to work on yourself and you say you have been working on yourself that's Amen. good but, yet you, but you have to keep those words true. Oh, yeah, remember. Yeah. You got to maintain good works. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. It says, said the 10th day, and then it said to the 14th day. That's not too many days. Um, but some people lose control. <laughs> they have no restraint. Hallelujah. They have no, 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 uh, 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 uh temperance about themselves. Amen. Self-control. Amen. And, and it just messed everything up. Yeah. Yeah, Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. Yes, sir, read it. And the whole assembly of the congregation. And the whole assembly of the congregation. Of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And the whole. Now, we got to be on one accord. Yes, Lord. If the walls of Jericho had to come down because oh, yeah. they was on one accord. They was on one accord. Hallelujah. They, they had to be on one accord in order to be delivered upon that, uh, that, that time there. Amen. 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 We say we want to grow high. My father says many things I desire to share with you. We want to hear all of that. We want to bear witness to that. We all got to be on one accord. Yeah. We need saints to be strong. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We need saints to be strong. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. Read it. The whole assembly. The whole assembly. Of the congregation of Israel. Of the congregation of Israel. Shall kill it in the evening. They shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take up the blood. And they shall take up the blood. And strike it on the two side posts. Mm-hmm. And on the upper door post of the houses. Yes, sir. Where they shall eat it. Where they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. They shall eat the flesh in that night. Roast with fire. Roasted with fire. And unleavened bread. Holy Spirit going to show you how to cook it up in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what the word of Spirit doing? Showing you how to cook it up in your life? Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You better deal with your wife. Yeah. I don't want I want I don't want to roast it. I want to bake it. <laughs> <laughs> You're disobedient. Uh-huh. How you want to handle things. Amen. I'm telling you, then in order for these children of Israel to be delivered, they have to follow it to a T. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. And they shall eat the flesh in the in that night. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. Roast with fire. Now, come on, can I fry it? <laughs> roast with fire. Mm-hmm. Roast. Is it roast? Roast with fire. Mm-hmm. Roast with fire. And unleavened bread. And unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs. With bitter, it's the, I don't like this. It's too bitter. They bitter herbs. Eat it. Hmm? Yeah. You want your paprika and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Garlic salt. <laughs> with bitter herbs. Yeah, you want your garlic salt. Hmm? Tony, uh, uh, was it Tony Sachi's or Sachi? How do you say it? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, that's somebody over there cooking, huh? See, she put that on that chicken of hers. Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. But it said bitter herbs. They shall eat it. It's always, see, it's always be a way that you don't want it. Yeah, that's right. No, you know, salvation come in the way that you don't want it. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. Salvation comes in a way that you don't want it. Bible says that Yahshua the Messiah learned obedience to the things that he suffered. That's what it says. The Messiah suffered. Yes, he did. Don't you know that it's only right that you and I suffer? Amen. Amen. Paul said that we are made partakers of the Messiah's suffering. Yeah, you and I will are made part. If you say you're going to be a believer and a follower, you're going to be made partakers of his suffering. Yeah. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind oh, yeah. right. as a Messiah, as he had. Yeah. Amen. But he that has ceased from sin, you shall suffer in the flesh. Yeah. Amen. It's like my daughter. There's certain things she don't like. She say, that nasty. <laughs> that nasty. I don't want it. <laughs> That's how some of us is, huh? Yep. Where it go for if your face all broken. <laughs> face full of disgust. <laughs> that nasty. Hallelujah. <laughs> Word of Yahweh is too bitter, huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you desire salvation, it says that that uh 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 that he that tasted this thing here, that the Lord is good and he is gracious. That's just if you truly tasted this thing. If you taste it, it's good. Yeah, man. Hmm? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you know that even though the Bible says that we should pray for our food and, 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 and that nothing should be refused? Amen. Right. But don't you know when you're eating this here? Right. When you're eating this here? Amen. You know you're not supposed to refuse it? Look at that, Brother Lee. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed, you supposed to receive it with yeah. thanksgiving. Thank Yahweh that you had uh, 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 revealed these things unto me. That you had hidden these things from the wise and prudent, and you revealed it to this old man. That you revealed it to this old man. This baby. This babe here. Yeah. Amen. That's what you get here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I read it. Eat not of it raw. He said, eat not none of it raw. I like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Japanese food. That's how I like it. Eat none of it raw. Nor sodden. Mm. Eat none of it raw. Eat none of it sodden. At all. At all. It said at all. At all. I don't care what you like. I'm, I'm bringing salvation to you. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. You want pray asking for deliverance. So this is how it's going to come. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. It's like somebody saying they hungry and they're starving. Uh -huh. Amen, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And they put that food on the table. You refuse to eat. <laughs> You're not telling the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm thirsty. Here's some water. I don't want. You got any Kool Aid? You're not thirsty. <laughs> You're not thirsty. Cherry Kool Aid. I'm parched. You don't drink soda when you parched. <laughs> it don't. It don't make sense. He said, "At all, at all with water, at all but with water." But roast with fire. But roast with fire. His head with his leg. His head with his head. His head with what? With his leg. His head with his leg. Ugh. <laughs> Some of us like that. Hallelujah. You ain't gonna eat the chicken if you if you see it all together like that. Some coaches out there they roast the whole pig, right? Apple in the mouth. Yeah. No lie. So now it's, you no longer see bacon. <laughs> Hmm? You see, you see Wilbur. Mm -hmm. You see Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur! <laughs> There's no longer bacon, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you see the pig, Amen. The pig with the name. <laughs> <laughs> the ways of Yahweh it sounds hard, and it, and it is hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pastor Paul, Peter, when he spoke about Pastor Paul's and all his epistles, he said there was many things are hard to be understood. Why would you want to serve it that way? This is, this is how salvation is presented. Amen. This is how it came. The prophet once said about, Yah, about the, uh, the prophecy of Yahshua the Messiah. He said that when you shall see him, there is no beauty that you shall desire him. He is despised and he is rejected of all men. The way that he came, hallelujah, was nothing that 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 uh, 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 that, that was beautiful about him. No. His, uh, his own people didn't want him. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. So he said that a prophet is yet without honor in his own land. Amen. Amen. It's not coming in the way that you want it. Hallelujah. 
So we don't have smooth sayings in here. Having itching ears. I'm sorry, that's not what we have. All we have is truth. Hallelujah, honey. Yeshua said, no, I, I, I came into the world to be, bear witness unto the truth. This is all I have. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. For this purpose, I came into the world that I may bear witness of the truth. Hallelujah. And here it is, thanks. Hallelujah. Here it is. Hallelujah. Lots of instructions. Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Paul. But roast with fire. Come on, but roast with fire. His head with his leg. His head with his leg. Can and you just move the head, please? I can deal with the legs, huh? Because I like chicken legs. <laughs> I like turkey legs. <laughs> Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. I like lamb chops. <laughs> Hence, you know, chop it. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, with the head and his and his legs. Amen. Uh huh. And with the pertinence. Thereof. And with the pertinence thereof. All, all this makings. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you that hate chitlins? <laughs> <laughs> you that hate chitlins? Oh, that stank. <laughs> all of his essence. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's many things in the word here that's hard to swallow. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. You know, there's much in here that's really hard to swallow. Amen. Amen. All you can do is just, you can't chase it with something else. You got to chase it with more word. Amen. And there's certain alcohol out there that's so bad. It's, they got a real kick. Oh, yeah. They got to chase it with something. Chase it with something. Yeah. All you can do is just keep chasing the word with the word. That's right. Amen. Keep on eating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it, sir. And you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And you shall leave nothing of it remain until morning. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And that which remaineth. Yeah, so where's that to tape? You got to eat it, saints. Yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. One thing about it is that we can't make you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. If the children of Israel really wanted this, this is what they had to do. Yes, yes sir. And that which remaineth of, of it until uh-huh. the morning, ye shall burn with fire. Mm-hmm. And thus shall ye eat, eat it. Yes, sir. And with your loins girded. See, you better be ready to go. He said, this is how you're going to eat it, with your loins girded. girded. And your shoes on your feet. Mm-hmm. With loins girded. Mm-hmm. And your shoes on your shoes feet. Shoes on your feet. My mother had a dream a long time ago about a bus. Oh, yeah, I remember. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. You find yourself still packing. And the bus come, you're going to get left behind. Oh, yeah. Amen. Say what's that? With the loins girded. The hey. shoes. See, these people are ready to make a move. Uh, on your feet. Uh, whenever you walk in the spirit, hallelujah, you keep in watch. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's why Yeshua, he told Apostle Peter, he said, you watch unto prayer. Mm-hmm. And fasting. This is what you have to do. Right. Told him that Satan desired to sift you as wheat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You stop doing what you need to do. You ain't going to be ready when the Lord returns. Amen. No, none of us know when the Lord is going to return. Hallelujah. So that's why it's best for you to be ready instead of trying to get ready. Amen. Anybody that's trying to get ready, you're procrastinating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The nature itself teaches some things. How many of us procrastinate? No, you got to be at work at at 8 o'clock. You set your alarm for uh, for a reason. It wake you up, but yet you ignore it. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> yeah. 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 The bishop that stand before you crying out loud, sparing out, that's, a, that's the alarm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, the bishop that's crying out loud, sparing out, that's the alarm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But maybe I hit the snooze button on the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Hallelujah. Hit the snooze button, button on the word. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's the truth. Huh? Because you want to go back to sleep, but the Bible says, "Wake it thou that sleepeth." Yeah. Hmm? Wake it thou that sleepeth. Hallelujah. 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 See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, redeeming the time, seeing that the days are evil. Here, you put that hand down. Get on up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quit being lazy in the walk. Get on up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So they said, uh, what they say there, Brother Paul? With your loins girded. With your loins girded. Your shoes on your feet. Your shoes on your feet. And your staff in your hand. Your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it. And you shall eat it. In haste. In haste. It is, it is Yahweh's Passover. Right, I'm telling you, the Lord is coming back real soon. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So you have to do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. That's why I said that I'm, trying, I'm doing my best to redeem the time. Amen. 
Amen. I've done so much in my life that uh, 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 that sin against our, our God here. So I'm trying to do everything in my power to redeem the time because I haven't done enough. I'm 40 years old. Amen. Well, I'll be 40. Why not? Everybody done those people round you up anyhow. <laughs> they round you up anyhow. You 40. Amen. Hallelujah. But I would say that, but most of my life I wasn't right. Amen. Most of my life I wasn't right. Likewise. So I've been out for about what seven years now, and I would say of that seven. I've been uh, walking uh, in the ways of the Lord correctly for four years. Amen. So I got a, I got a lot of time to uh, make up. Amen. I, have, I, I, I haven't done enough. Amen. 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 Being born and raised, is, is, it don't mean nothing. That's right, bro. Amen. That don't mean nothing. Hmm? So he said, eat with haste. Hmm? It is Yahweh's Passover. It is Yahweh's Passover. Hmm. Amen. Amen. So Yahweh, he he uh he gave this unto the children of Israel because he was going to do something in Egypt. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord going to do something to this. He's coming back and he's going to destroy this world. Yes, Hallelujah. With fire this time, not water this time. Fire. Amen, huh? Hallelujah. I want this to pass me. Going back over there to Samuel, sir. Let's finish it. First Samuel 15 and 8. First Samuel 15 and 8. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalek. And he took... Uh, Agag, the king of the Amorites, alive, alive, and early destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. Uh huh. But Saul and the people spared Agag. Yes, sir. And the best of the sheep. And the best of the sheep. And of the oxen. <clears throat> and the oxen. And the fatlings. Yes, sir. And the lambs. Uh huh. And all that that was good. Yes, sir. Would not early destroy them. Mm-hmm. But everything that was valuable. So you you better stop looking at that stuff that you think is good. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. I'm saying you better take your eyes off that stuff that you think is good. Amen. 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 Amen, huh? Utterly destroy it. You can find yourself so you have to utterly destroy that stuff. Utterly. Learn to understand that the what Yahweh wanted of you is good. Yes, sir. But everything that was valid and refused, uh-huh. that they destroyed utterly. Yes, sir. See, but we don't have a problem with the stuff that we don't mind getting rid of. Amen. That's why when the word go forth, if it begins to manifest certain things, it's easy to shed that part off. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. Then, then came the word of Yahweh unto Samuel. Then came the word of Yahweh unto Samuel, saying, "Saying, it repented me that I have set up Saul to be king." Now, see, you don't want it. You don't want it to be for all this to be in vain. Amen. Amen. For Yahweh to look down upon you, Amen, and be grieved uh, uh, that He ever made you. Amen. 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 There's much sin in the world. The Bible says that Yahweh saw that the sin of men was great upon the earth. Uh huh. And that every imagination, the thoughts of man's heart was only evil. See, this flesh, whenever you walk in, that's all it ever thinks about is nothing but evilness. Amen. Hallelujah. It said continually. And so that's why it takes the word of Yahweh, why you have to hearken unto it. Because if you don't listen, hearken to the words of Yahweh, you're going to continue to do evil. Hallelujah. It's his word that's going to purify you, that's going to cleanse you up from the evil. Hallelujah. So he said that Samuel, it repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he turned his back from following me. For he turned his back from following me. And hath not performed my commandments. And had not performed my commandments. And it grieved Samuel. And it grieved Samuel. And he cried unto the Lord all night. Uh Uh-huh. And when Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning. Come on now. It was told Samuel saying. Yes, sir. Saul came to Carmel. Mm -hmm. And behold, he set him up a place. Yes, sir. And gone about and passed on. Read it. And gone down to Gilgal. Mm -hmm. And Samuel came to Saul. And Samuel came to Saul. And Saul said unto him, Uh huh. Blessed be thou of the Lord. See, he's saying, you better be careful. You don't want to find yourself walking in that flesh. The flesh make you think that you're doing what you need to be doing. Coming here, praise Yahweh and all of that. Amen. Amen. Thinking that you all right. Sammy thought he was all right. He actually believed that he performed. And that's how we are in here because I'm telling you, when you don't want to relinquish your ways, you continue to want to hold on to certain things uh-huh. and don't want to utterly destroy it. You would think that you all right yep. because he did something. Yep. He destroyed the Amalekites but spared Agag and all the good stuff. Amen. It don't work like that. I thought I was all right. Amen. Praise Yahweh, Father. I got a new song for the anniversary. Amen. <laughs> That's what I would do. Anniversary come around. I, 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 I dig myself into the piano. 
Hmm? Amen. Amen. You can't, but you can't hide behind that. Amen. Hmm? Amen. The spirit of it, it, it is here to tell you this, saints. Yeah. So that your walk can be pure. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. Read it. I have performed the commandment of the Lord. I have performed the commandments of the Lord. And Samuel said. And Samuel said. What meaneth then? What meaneth this? This bleeding of the sheep in my ears. Oh, yeah. See, but your fruits, it, it tells off on you. What meaneth in the bleeding of this here, these sheep here? In my ears. In my ear. In the lowing of the oxen which I hear. I know you know you when you not right that you noisy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, amen. Yeah, you know when you you ain't right, you noisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sammy knew exactly what it the spirit know exactly what it told you to do. Amen. Hallelujah, honey. Hallelujah. Some, some saints come in here and you it's a bunch of noise. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. So much noise, that's why Apostle Watch sometimes he try to ignore you. <laughs> you try to drown out the noise. <laughs> yeah. hmm? Why is I hear the bleeding of the sheep in my ears? In my ears, in the lowing of the oxen which I hear. Uh huh. And Saul said. And Saul said, they have brought them from the Amalekites. And why are you trying to blame it on somebody? Why are you trying to blame it on somebody? Huh? Peter said, you should take uh, uh take heed unto doctrine and thyself. You got to take heed to the doctrine first. Take heed to that, hearken unto that. Amen. Then you're able to look at your own self. Amen. You don't need to bring nobody to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we still do that. Amen. But then we always say what the Spirit told you to do. Amen. What did the Spirit tell you to do? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, sir, read it. They have brought them from the Amalekites they, for the people. They have brought them from the Amalekites. For the people. For the people. And spared the best of the sheep. Uh-huh. And of the oxen. Yes, sir. And to sacrifice unto Yahweh thy God. Read it. And the rest we have early destroyed. And the rest we have early destroyed. Then Samuel said unto Saul. Then Samuel had said unto Saul. Stay and I will tell thee what Yahweh has said to me this night. See, I already told you what the Lord said before, Samuel. Now you done changed the direction of it. Saul, well, yes, Saul, thank you, Pastor. You done changed the direction of this here. Yeah. See, that's why it's very important to follow the Spirit because a blessing, it awaits you. Yeah. But when you don't follow the Spirit, a curse awaits you. Yeah. No doubt, if I would have hearkened to my father upon that day, when I, I would have hearkened to the dream that Mother Kathy had, then I would have never suffered so much shipwreck. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Didn't see it coming. The Spirit did it, try to warn me. But once again, that if you he that lack these things, mm -hmm, it's blind and you cannot see you far off. Mm -hmm. You can't see what's going to happen to you. Amen, Amen. Amen huh? Amen. So I want to see that uh, uh, because his disobedience, that death was going to be awaiting him from the fall on his own sword. Because obedience is better than the sacrifices that any one of us like to make. Amen. Amen. Brought death to his son. Yeah. Uh, so that, if, that's, if that's death in your life, I'm talking about that stuff that's just messed up, falling apart. There's no life over here. You did that. Amen. Amen. Glory. I, I said you did that. Amen. It ain't got to be a, 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 a true natural death. Your finances are affected. Death. Amen. Health affected. Death. Yeah. Children don't want to honor you. Death. Wife can't respect you. Death. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. Then Samuel said unto Saul. Then Samuel had said unto Saul. Stay and I will tell thee what Yahweh has said to me this Stay night. Stay and I will tell you. Uh-huh. What Yahweh told me this night. Yes, sir. And he said unto him, say on. Uh-huh. And Samuel said, when thou waste little in thy uh -huh. own sight. Say on. He think you're going to receive a blessing. <laughs> then you're going to hear some good news here. Amen. Hallelujah. But it was nothing but disappointment. Amen. Yes, sir. Finish it, sir. And when Samuel said, uh -huh. "When thou waste a little in thy own sight, yes, sir, waste thou not made the hand of, the head of the tribe of Israel west, west. When when thou wast little in thy own sight, uh huh, <laughs> wast thou not made the head of the tribe of Israel? Yes, sir. And Yahweh anointed thee king over Israel. Uh huh. And Yahweh sent thee on a journey. Now look what I've done for you." That's what we're doing here. Sometimes we as bishops, we sit down with you and we, we try to cause you to call to remember what Yahweh has done for you. Yeah. Some of us come and we didn't have nothing. Yeah. Amen. 
No peace whatsoever. No, no structure. Peace. Nothing. Amen. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. Amen. Yes. Yahweh came and he began to work a work in your yes, life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? So that you was nothing without me. Amen. I, I set you up. Hallelujah. I called you to be here. And this is what you're going to do? Amen. Yes, sir. And Yahweh sent thee on a journey. And Yahweh sent thee on a journey. And said, uh -huh. go and go. utterly destroy the sinners. Yes, sir. The Amalekites. And fight against them until they be consumed. Uh huh. Wherefore th then didst thou not obey the voice of Yahweh? Jump on down to the twenty second verse and let's finish it. And Samuel said. And Samuel said, Hath Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and <laughs> sacrifices? I love how the Spirit always put things in perspective for us. Yeah. Amen. I always calls us to think yeah. because we think we all right in here. Amen. 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 He that thinketh he standeth, you take heed lest you fall. Sometimes we can get a big head because we did this and we did that. Amen. Amen. Huh? But Yahweh wants us to understand that your thought process, it doesn't weigh to mine. Amen. 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 And Samuel said, have, uh, Yahweh have great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices. As in obeying the voice of the Lord. Does, is he rather he, uh, uh, upholding this over, over obedience? No, I beg the difference. He said obedience is better than any sacrifice. Amen. I don't care how big you think it is. Amen. I don't care how much you 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 relinquish, you sacrifice. Amen. Obedience is always better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. May Yahweh bless you, saints. May Yahweh keep you. Amen. Let's be strong in the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah, because I know that we can do this. But at this time here, let us all rise and receive Apostle Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Amen. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh, saints. Everyone can be seated. I got a little limp, but I'm okay. I'm not 18 years old no more. It's a blessing to be here. Thank you, Yahweh, for the words spoken by my son, uh, Prophet Washington. And we want to remember those that are some still on the road, and some still working tonight, so... But it's a blessing to be here tonight. Um, I caught some of the message on the way at the service tonight. And thank y'all away for what I heard once I made it here. Um, we preach the way that we preach, brothers and sisters, because of the fact is, you know, we all have to give an account of ourselves. Amen. And we've been here long enough to understand that this church is not like no other church. Of course, it's not about making people happy. and We don't want you to go away happy if you're not right. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. There's many things about life that is serious. Many, many things about life that is serious. You know, you want to buy a house, you need to be serious. If you don't, they'll sell you a lemon. Amen. 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 Oftentimes, those that have do have structure, they, you know, they take their time and do their research and yes. to make sure they gonna get their money worth, but they gonna yes. put into it. Amen. And um, with all with all men, there's certain things that is important to us, and we do take time out to see to it that we're getting the best. Amen. 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 But there's nothing more important. In this life, for any man, is to make sure that we're right with God. You know, we're surrounded with so so much. The world has so much to offer, so much to get involved. We can get involved with that would take away, you know, our that fire that we need when it comes down to seeking the Lord. Amen. The Bible said, "No, seek the Lord while He may be found," and you can only seek Him while you're alive. They will come, all of us, if the world still stand, we all will go to that place where all other men have gone. Amen. And you cannot praise the Lord and you can't seek him in the grave. Amen. 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 It's only in this life here. Hallelujah. And um, because we're surrounded with so much, the world has so much to offer us. We're not careful. We'll find ourselves getting away from those things 
that we should really think on. Now, meat is important, right? But our food, you die. So that's why we thank y'all for the food we have on our table. Clothing is also important. Amen. Amen. Need that. But we don't want to get caught up in those things. And one thing I've, I've learned over the years since I've been here, you know, we look around. Some of you, some of us been been here for a long time. Some of us we just made it here. And so you're learning about the history of the church. But the majority of us, we can look around and we know there are many that started with us. Amen. That is no longer. They've gone back into the world, right? Amen. They didn't only destroy those things that the Spirit wanted them to destroy. And there, of course, there are things in our life we have to get rid of. And, and the one thing about it, you got to do it. No one's going to do it for you. Yeshua said, if any man should come after me, let him first deny himself. Let him take up. Hey, Jeanette, move over one, love. That way I can see my sister back there. Yeah, you, you, yeah, all that hurry you got. You know, just, you know, just blocking her. That, that, that. Yeah. You know what your daddy look like. Good to see you. Good to see you, daughter. Amen. Um, but we can't get so caught up. You know, Yeshua spoke to his disciples in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. And um, oftentimes when we when we walk in here among the believers, you know, the spirit got to got to shake us because we lose focus sometimes. Oh, yeah. We lose focus sometimes. Right. So the spirit got to always shake us and remind us who we are and what journey we are on. Amen. And the scripture said, what sort of thing that was written a four time is written for our learning. So we should be able to open up our book, even in the 24th chapter of Matthew, and learn something. Amen. Let's see what we can learn tonight. Amen. 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 Yes. Watch the word here. Read it. Matthew 24 and 1. Yes. And Yeshua went out. Yes. And departed from the temple. And he departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him. Disciples came to him. For to show him the now building of the temple. Now we just got through, got through preaching. Yes, Lord. Left the temple, you know, declaring to the people that are gathered there, the the Father's, amen, commandments for them in order for them to be saved. But the disciples, they, they, you know, they got there. They don't know what they went away with. They, they didn't, they didn't, evidently they wasn't listening like they should. Amen. Have you seen, have you known you caught up in the spirit and you're witnessing to talking to your brother and sister and someone just sprang something out of the blue? Amen. Don't have nothing to do with what we're talking about. Uh-huh. The whole conversation about salvation, how you overcame the devil, you know. You fought and you got the victory, and they want to talk about something that don't have nothing to do with. Yeah. You see, you can't lose focus. Amen. Amen. Man, Amen. just got through leaving from the temple, yeah. and listen to here. Read. Amen. And Yeshua said unto them, and "Read it over." And Yeshua went out and departed from the temple. Yes. And the disciples came. And to the him disciples came to him for to show him to show the him of the, the, the building of the temple. And Yeshua said, unto "They want to them, talk about how beautiful it is." Mm-hmm. You know, as we know, we can't, you know, get caught up in what a temple look like. Uh-huh. Amen. 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 You know, some folks there come that don't look. This don't look like no church. Well, what do a church supposed to look like? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. The church is the people. The people. Yeah. That's a building, right. just a building. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. That's why you can come in and the word can go forward. You you get exactly what the spirit wants. Someone else is complaining or talking about what oh, they yes. like in the church. Right, mm-hmm. right. I show like on mirrors in front that Renee put up there. It's just so nice. Uh-huh. But they ain't hear nothing but the spirit had to say about how they are to walk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they see the mirror but don't see themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Every time they pass by, they look at themselves. Right. They more focus on the outer man than what's inside. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. We can't get so caught up with, with, with what's going on in the world. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And she was saying, look, I'll come to die. Come to give you like my father's commandments for you in order for you to be saved. And you worrying about these build, these buildings. See, so it's important that our concern is about the right, the, the most important thing. Yes, Lord. Because the Yeshua is going to blow their mind. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said to them, 
The shoe went out and departed from the temple. Yes. And his disciples came to him. Yes. For to show him to the show building, him the of, building the of the temple. And Yeshua was said unto them. And he them, said to them, See ye not, you all, say these not things? all these things? Verily I say unto I you. I say unto you. There shall not be left there here won't one, be stone one stone left upon, upon another. See, the, your conversation must be according to those things uh -huh. that has to do with you being right with God. Everything else don't mean anything. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Don't like the job. I'm sorry, the job going in one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm? Whatever your problem is, whatever you dislike or whatever you like, it's going to end. Amen. It's not going to be around. Amen. You say you're pretty, well, keep living. Mm. <laughs> Keep living. Amen. Age time will catch up with you. Oh, yes, Amen. it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't allow Satan to cause you to lose focus while you're here. Right. While you went to the temple. Yeah. You went to the temple to be taught. Mm -hmm. We come to the church to be taught. Amen. Yeah, you know, yeah, we want everybody, you that got a job, to get up and be at work on time. Right. Right. It don't mean nothing. You're not going to let your light shine on that job. Being on time ain't going to mean nothing if you can't do the right thing. Amen. Hallelujah. You yeah, got hallelujah. kids. All right. Yes, you're supposed to feed them. But all you're teaching your children at the house, whatever it is, you can't get wrapped up. You can't lose focus on why God brought you here. And Yeshua said, look, they, and see, they don't know. They don't know that a time will come when that temple it, they, it will be destroyed. They had no idea that it was going to be destroyed. And the thing that you want to get wrapped up in is calling you not to give yourself over to the Lord. That will destroy you later on. Yes, Lord, it will. And so the spirit don't want you to worry about, you know, uh, 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 clothes for the body. Right. Amen. Meat for the stomach. Yes. Yeshua told his disciples, uh, just go take a look at the birds of the air. Yes. Go look at the, the, the flowers, the lilies in the field. None of them at all. None of them were. Right. But yet your heavenly father make place for yes. them. Yes. And we're more valuable than a bird. Yes. We're more valuable than a plant. Right. Amen. That's right. All God wants us to do is seek his face and do his will. Yes, sir. He wants us to overcome sin in the flesh. That's all he wants you to do. Right. Because you're taught how you ought to walk. Amen. And you're Amen. taught how you ought to walk. Yeah. And you gotta let learn you gotta learn to do what the Lord told you to do. He said, Don't even think about tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. take Don't take no thought. It's a sin to even think about tomorrow. Amen. But once long you're thinking about it, you're going to say the wrong thing. You're right. going to do the wrong thing. Right. So the Lord said, take no thought about tomorrow. Tomorrow trouble is going to be there. But it will take care of itself. Amen. The day is the day of salvation for yes, you. It is. The day is the day you're supposed to walk like it may be your last day. It may be the day the Lord may come. Amen. Amen. You that right. got an anger problem, you better do something with it. Yes, sir. You better learn to control it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It's just too many people on the freeways. You need to move to Level Land. <laughs> you need to move to uh, move to Mushu. Amen. Little country town. Yeah, right. hmm? yeah. You got to learn to understand. You gotta, it's all about controlling yourself. Amen. I'm sorry. You got a problem with sex. Better yeah, control it. Yeah. Right. Hmm? Yep. Amen. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Got to learn to control it. Yes, yeah. sir. And Lord, ain't going to take all the women out of the world for you. Uh-uh. <laughs> ain't going to move all the men out of the world, out of the world for you too, so you stay in the spirit. No. Yeah. Yeshua already prays that, Father, I pray that you don't take them out of the world, right. but Amen. deliver them from the evil. So he already prays. You might well stop that prayer. Right. Amen. He already prayed for you. Don't take them out of the world, but deliver them from the evil. Right. For yours is the kingdom and the power forever and forever. That's why we come here. Amen. Hallelujah. We surrounded with sin. Yes, sir. And the Spirit expects you to do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't get caught up in all this stuff. You get caught up in all these things. You talking about, wait a minute, the devil come talking to you about what you're missing out in life, what you haven't accomplished yet. That's what he right. do. And you don't realize the day that you gave your life to the Lord, that you made up your mind, you don't serve God. That's the best thing that you ever did. Amen. Amen. And nothing else you can do better than that is to keep that. Hallelujah. Yes. That's, That's the best thing, thing you've done. Best thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're not missing out on nothing. No, we're not. Amen. You're suffering this life that you may gain it eternal. Eternal. Life eternal. Life eternal. Amen. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 
And Yeshua said unto them, Yes. See ye not all these things? Yes. Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. there shall not be left here one stone, one stone upon, another, left upon another that shall not be thrown down. Yes. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives. And that happened, that all that took place in 70 AD. Mm -hmm. Amen. When this temple was destroyed. Amen. Right today, you know, you go see the, watch the news, you see the the Jews, it's called so called Jews at the they call that uh the, the the wall of weeping, weeping wall, welling wall. See them over there doing this here. Well, that's part of that. You know, they came back and stacked those bricks back up. But that was part of the wall that surrounded that temple. That's why they go there. Mm -hmm. Yeshua said it's going to be torn down. It was torn down. Yeah. That temple that Yeshua called my father house don't exist no more. Yeah. And the devil wants you to get wrapped up in all this stuff that you think is so important to you about life. Uh -huh. It's going to be destroyed. Right. So until you get that word in you to understand that you are a pilgrim. Amen. Yeah. Oh, you're not. You're, you're a foreigner. You're, this world is not our, our home. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can't get wrapped up in life and jobs and everything else that you may, that y'all will have blessed you with. It's only temporary. temporary. And you don't know what y'all are going to do. Right. We don't know what's going to happen. The thing is, you want to be in tune with the Spirit. Yeah. Whatever the Spirit say, that's where you want to find yourself, wherever the Spirit is at. Amen. That's all that should matter. Hallelujah. Come on, read. And as he said upon the man of all, yes, I read. The disciples came unto him privately. Yes. Saying, yeah, we like that when we got a sum up our sleeves. <laughs> we like that. We don't like talking openly. Yeah. Privately, God. You know why? Because we got some up our sleeve. Right. Amen. And they come to him privately. Saying, saying, tell us, tell us, when shall these things when be? When shall these things be? And what shall be the and sign? What of shall be coming? the sign of your coming? And of the end and of the, the world. End of the world. And Yeshua answered and, and he said, said to, them, to them, "Take heed." He's not going to answer the way they think he's going to answer. Now, one thing about the Spirit, it never answers you according to what you, not according to your agenda, mm -hmm. not according to your plan. Amen. Never mm -hmm. will answer you yes. according to what's in your heart. Amen. There's only one thing they needed to understand that they surely, surely, surely needed to consider is for them to take heed. That no man that deceive no, you. That's what's important. Amen. That's what's important. Amen. You know on the day I'm going to come, ain't going to help you and you're going to listen to man. Right. Amen. Now here it is. You don't want to do what's right to do. Mm -hmm. You can go talk to somebody else who don't want to do what's right yeah. to do. Yes. Now you basing your de decision making on, on someone that think the way you think. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Hallelujah. Tell me y'all ain't got your companion with you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You don't stay focused. You'll find somebody to talk to. You. Right. Tell you exactly what you want to hear. Yeah. All these other churches, they go out there and find you a good, a good, a good, a good Christian person. Uh, you can't have a good Christian person when you are, when you already got a bad, uh, a, a, a sinner as a husband or as a wife. Yeah. You can't trade them in. <laughs> you can't get rid of them. Uh -uh. The law have you bound, the Bible bound. said. Yeah. To death do you pour, not to one backslide. Right, right. To death do you pour. Yes, yeah, sir. Hallelujah. You bound it's just like the children that you bring into the world. You can you can you can disclaim them if you want to, but they're yours. Uh -huh. Some people do that. Yeah. But they still they take a child and drop them off of somebody else's porch. Oh, yeah. Yes, they will. But in the eyes of God, that's their child. That's they and they're gonna give an account of what they did. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You brought Junior in the world and you gave him name Mike. Now he call himself Michelle. Uh huh. He's still yours. Still yours. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. That's still your child. Amen. Amen. That's not what you wanted. Amen. When God created us, he created us to be holy. Right. Amen. Satan Hallelujah. didn't create nobody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah. You know, you got kidnappers out, kidnappers out there. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And that was Satan yeah. did kidnapped us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It took us yes, from God. Uh -huh. So what happened? Before we come to know God, we act just like the devil did. We? Right. We'll fight you as soon as you look at us funny. Uh -huh. Cuss you out. Right, right. Get drunk. Oh, yeah. Sleep around. We uh -huh. did all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Stole, yeah. steal. Right. Yeah. Lied on the income tax check. And all kind of stuff. This, mm -hmm. this is who we were. Uh -huh. Didn't like certain people. Right. Made fun of folks. Yeah. 
Because his head is, is built like a cabbage. You shouldn't call him cabbage head. Amen. <laughs> uh-huh. Amen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we didn't know no better. Amen. Then we come in, the spirit says, speak evil, no man. Yes. You, you better stop it. That man that you want to talk about and criticize, made in God's image. And amen. The Bible says, we bless we God with the same tongue. Bless we God and curse we man. Yes. The brother, these things should not be. Amen. If you're born of the spirit, you got to act like the spirit. Amen. And the spirit love everybody. Right. Amen. Love everybody to the point that God gave his son for the sins of everybody. Amen. Everybody don't believe in him, so therefore they won't be saved. Right. I learned to love men for who they are. Amen. And regardless the color of their skin. Amen. They're made in God's image, yes, not Lord. the God likeness. Right. Hallelujah. Man, hallelujah. Before I knew the Lord, I talk about you. Yes, <laughs> Quick. Amen. But now since I know him and I'm of him. Hallelujah. And he dwells in me. Hallelujah. When I see me and now. I see someone that's made in God's image. Amen. They just don't know him. That's all. Amen. Perhaps I let my light shine. They'll come to know him as I know him. Amen. That's why the Lord said, you are the light of the world. Yes. You are a city that's set on a hill. And when you're doing this thing right, you can't be here. Yeah. Therefore, let your light so shine among oh, men. Man. They walk in darkness, not right. you. They walk in darkness. You know better now. Yes, Therefore, let your light so shine among men that they may see something. Yes, They'll see your good work. There ain't no one on the job like you. Right. Amen. There's no one on the job like you. I, ain't, I, I Don't get me wrong. 90% of the people on your job go to church. Yes, sir. But ain't none like you, though. Hallelujah. Got a lot of men on the job. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, a lot of women. Uh huh. Sweet thing. Uh-huh. But you don't nobody no more. Uh huh. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. I don't care how fine she is. Right. I don't care how fine he is. You keep that devil under control, don't you? Amen. You keep your flesh under control. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before, amen. You see her down there, somebody new on the job. And you know you don't work on that side of it. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know that you don't work over there. You're a salesman. And you're, you're, you're in the, uh, um, um, no, no, customer service department. You're a salesman. They got a salesman on this side. And they got a customer service on that side. And you're a salesman. You got, you got, you got your own restrooms over there. But because you see somebody new. In the, in the, in the in customer, cu- customer, customer, customer care department. Yeah. Now you will get up and go to that restroom. Way over there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Many of us did that kind of stuff. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you don't never use that restroom. Till Felicia showed up. Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> LT, so they hired him. Yeah. LT. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know how many times I had to say, I'm not going? Yes, sir. And didn't go. Uh-huh. And the amount of time, how many times they walked past me, I act like I didn't see him. Yeah. Amen. I was out with turn my eyes and seeing evil. Those that are born of the spirit, taught by God, we resist the devil. Yes, right. We fight our battles with him. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm not going to quit the job because of Felicia. No. Yeah. That's, that's Felicia's every job. What you going to do? Quit every job you get to? Yeah, you, you say bye, Felicia. And JT too. <laughs> bye Felicia. All right? No, the spirit is ready for you to fight the good fight of faith. Uh-huh. Yes. To, to be a light to those 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they'll come to know you too. They'll become, if you right. let your light shine, they'll know that you're different than everybody else. Everybody else. Then they'll come to you, what church you go to? Yeah. Uh -huh. All because you let your light shine. All yeah. because you denied your flesh. Right. They want to know. Now here they come. They get baptized in the name of Yeshua. All Hallelujah. because. Glory. That's why all you're here today. Yes, sir. Because yes. somebody let their light shine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why you here. Somebody did it first. Somebody stayed focused. Yes. They didn't get wrapped up in all this stuff. Right. Hmm? Amen. Y'all getting this tonight? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Amen. And Yeshua answered and said unto them, Yeah. Take heed. Yes. Let no man deceive you. Don't you me. let nobody come talk to you. You have the spirit get through talking to you. Amen. Here comes Amen. Just, you know, I'm telling you, listen to me. As Yahweh used men to bring you to him. The devil also used men to take you from him. That's right. That's right. Amen. So after we get through talking, somebody else going to have something to say to you. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about. I've already been talking to you already about this way. You've been witnessing them to them about this church. What we believe in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you, you're sharing with them how you heard the voice. He come in the spirit, minister to you, and how that, you know, you're going to do what the spirit wants you to do. Amen. You're going to wait on the Lord. You're going to wait, y'all wait to wait, wait this thing out for you. That's right. Amen. Amen. To them, they think it's foolish mm -hmm. for that's you right. to suffer like that. Yeah, that's right. God wants you happy. No, God wants you saved. Yeah. Amen. I'm telling you, yes. it's different between happy and saved. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Oh yes. Amen. God wants you saved. Amen. He don't want you happy. Right. Amen. If you're not, if you're not saved, you don't need to be happy. Right. What you happy about? Yeah. Amen. Don't you know judgment is coming? Yes. Amen. Bible said the day will come. Amen. And it, it will burn like an oven. So, hallelujah. So yeah. no, He wants you saved. Yeah. Right. Amen. Jump on down. Cause I'm gonna do this here. Amen. I ain't gonna be here no three hours like I did Sunday. I didn't know I was here preaching for three hours. We did. <laughs> I, I really thought I preached like an hour and a half at the most, too. I didn't know I preached that long. And son, you'd have to rub it in like that. Hey, watch me. Your voice knew it, too. <laughs> oh, that's probably, that's probably, probably I lost my voice, huh? You know, I was working with Harvey and I did a couple of deliveries. And I couldn't talk. And I, they asked me why. I said, because I was preaching. I preached Sunday. Uh -huh. But I didn't know I preached no three hours. Preach your voice out. Yeah. <laughs> I blame y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Your Lord, Spirit knows all things. I'm serious. I didn't know. My wife's a baby. You know, you ain't young like you used to be. Amen. You did it again? Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead, uh, jump down to the... Uh, my head's still spinning. Mm -hmm. Jump on down to the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Jump on down to the 32nd verse. Amen. Um, 31st verse. Now listen. Let's read. Amen. And he shall send his now, angels. Yeshua. I'm kind of limping a little bit. You see me limping a little bit? Yes. I'm all right, Paul. Yeshua is talking about the end. When the end comes, you give it. Tell his disciples exactly what's going to happen when he returns. Said, and God, his father, will send his angels. Mm -hmm. With that, a great sound. I'm telling you, saints, you want to be ready when that time comes. Yes, sir. Yes. You can't get wrapped up with everything your eyes see that may be beautiful to you, that may be important to you. Yeah, believe me, there are things in this life that's necessary to have. Hallelujah. But it's nothing more important than being right with God when that day comes. Amen. I mean, stop and think about it. Be honest with yourself. If he come right now, how many of us would go back? Yes, sir. That's how you got to look at it. You got to look at it. 
Every day you wake up, you got to have it on your mind that what if he come today? Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. You know, no lie is going to be good. We'll go back to him, go back with him. Right. Lie today. Right. You didn't turn your eyes from seeing the evil. Right. Got in the big argument with people on your job about the president, the Republicans, and the Democrats. Yeah. Uh-huh. Saints aren't involved in that kind of stuff. Right. Right. I don't have nothing to offer them. Amen. No. Nothing to offer them. The other day where the preacher that came in and said right there, and soon we got the talk, spirit starts talking about Israel. He got them got out of here. Yeah. So how many preachers out there preach that? Yes, sir. We praying for Israel. Right, right. God has no respect to person. None whatsoever. That's right. Then I spirit plainly showed us what Yeshua would have did. Spirit shared with him. And to those on Facebook that was listening, the saints don't fight. Right. Amen. We don't fight. We don't fight. Yeah. We don't fight over land. No. Amen. She, she would told me they persecute you in one city, you flee. Yeah. That's what he told you to flee. You don't yeah. fight over land, you flee. Yeah. Right. Right. All through your book, you read the saints running. Yes. Amen. Just, amen. Right. We don't fight. Saints don't fight. Right. We love our enemies. We don't blow them up. We, right. we love our enemies. Yeah. They hunger, we're going to feed them. We're not going to blow you up. Right, right. We're not going to shoot you because you shot at us. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. That's right. We don't, not saying. We, we got up out of here. Yeah. 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 You got a bunch of church talking about Israel. Yeah. 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 They just is wrong. Yeah. He said he's going to come and save us. That's what he said. That's what he told me. He said what? He said he'd come to save us. Yeah, see, he don't know what he's talking about. Yeshua come to save the world. Yeah. He come to save the world, not yeah. no one people. Right. The world. God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Not Israel, in him. Yeah. Amen. Right. Because who is the true Israelite? Yeah. Who is the true Jew? Yeah. Yes, Lord. It's them that is born of the spirit, not of blood. Right, right. Of the spirit. Amen. 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 That's right. You can never be a true Jew by blood. No. The only way you can be a true Jew is by the spirit. That's why Yeshua told the true Jew, except he be born again. Yeah. Yeah. Told Nicodemus, you have to be born again. Yeah. You'll never see the kingdom of God unless you're born again. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it made it clear that Yeshua came unto his own, his own received him not. But as many that received him, them he gave power. That they may become the sons of God. Not born of of, of flesh and blood, but of the spirit. This young man here who continued to overcome sin, he's a true Jew. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the true Jew. Yes, Lord. That's the true Jew right there. How many Jews over there divorce their wife and marry somebody else? They ain't no true Jews. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Amen. A true Jew is one that denies the flesh. Right, right. It's born of the spirit. Hallelujah. A true Jew would never go beside your head. Yeah, turn the other cheek. Amen. Whosoever smack you on one cheek, yeah. offer him no. Yeah. Yeshua said, if one said in a time of old, yeah. Moses will have you fighting folks if you listen to him. Saying, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not? You listen to Moses, Moses going to have you fighting folks. Yeah. And Yeshua said, look, it had been said in a time of old, an eye for eye and a two for two. two. It had been said that. Yes, yeah, sir. But I say unto you, yes, uh-huh. who's ever smack you on one cheek, off him the other. Yes, Can't follow, follow Moses. Go ahead. Go ahead. Moses is going to be saved. You won't be lost. Amen. Yeah. Why would Moses be saved? Because Moses didn't have Yahshua in this presence. Uh-huh. Moses came before the Son of God. Moses was waiting for Yahshua to come here. Moses was hoping that Yahshua would come in his time so Yahshua can teach him how he ought to serve God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
The Bible says why the Bible says the prophets of uh -huh. old, of you old. know, they prayed, they sought the thing that are revealed into you. you they prophesied yes. of the thing that is yes. now revealed in you. Yes. They prophesied about this thing yes. that is now revealed in you. It wasn't yes. in them. Right. No, right. 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 They prophesied about uh -huh. it. And them, they chunk rocks and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't chunk rocks and folks. No, no. Amen. This way here, you got to be willing to lay a li lay your life down, Amen. and not take nobody's life. Amen. That's why you don't read about saints fighting in the Bible. Not saints. Uh -uh. That's right. I'm talking. I ain't talking about the Old Testament. I'm talking about the new one. New Testament. Yeah. You can't. Re the ones that did got rebuked. Right. <laughs> what did Peter do? Well, that's all. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And she would have said, uh, you know, you know, uh, it, 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 you know, before I tweet, now to take a sword. Uh -huh. Now I say, take a sword. You got a sword? They say, yeah, we got a sword, Lord. Uh -huh. They got to have it. No, we, oh, we got to fight now. <laughs> Lord told us to take a sword. Yeah. So Peter used it, did he? He used it. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. Peter, uh -huh. Peter put that knife, put that sword up. He that taking the sword shall perish by the sword. Look what's going on in Israel right now. Sword against sword. Uh huh. Kill my kid, I'm gonna kill your kid. Right. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And all these churches, majority of them, oh, yeah. ain't seen one yet that said, you know, feed them. Right. No. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. We praying for them. No, I'm not. I'm praying for them both to repent. Repent. Yeah. yeah. Yes, right. Go get Timothy right quick. Read that right quick. Timothy will teach you. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You really want to help Israel and a, and a, and a Palestinian, Palestinian, uh, uh, Palestinians? My mouth. I'm telling you. Ain't, my tongue ain't, ain't moving right. No, the Palestine. First Timothy? Yeah, that first Timothy 2. That's a second Timothy 2. Which one is it? Uh, is that resort there for? Yes. I exhort. Now, this is what we teach. First Timothy two and one. Y'all getting this, brothers? Yeah. This is what we teach. Yeah. I don't, exhort therefore. Don't you let no man deceive you. Amen. Because you know there's you know chaos over in Israel. Don't you let no man yes, deceive sir. you about what's going on over there. Amen. Amen. We gonna teach you how to pray. Uh -huh. Lord. Watch this here. First Timothy two and one. Yes. I exhort therefore. Uh huh. That first of all. Yes. Supplications. Prayers. First of all, I exhort you to do I know you don't want to do it. Because uh -huh. you can't stand Muslims. <laughs> can't stand Muslims. Uh-huh. Right. So this is the first thing Paul said. I, I exalt. This is the first I want to exalt you to do this right here. Therefore, yes. That first of all yes. supplication. Supplication. Prayers. Supplication. No supplication. concerns. Concerns. Uh -huh. You got some concerns about what's going on in the Middle East? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to deal with it then. Yeah. There's supplication. Prayers. What, 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 what? Prayers. And you want, and you want to move your lips? Right. Want to right. talk to God about the condition? Prayers. Okay, all right. And prayers. Intercessions. And, and you want to interrupt, get involved? <laughs> uh -huh. you, you want to get involved in what's uh -huh. going on? Okay, that's all right. Okay, we're going to help you with that. And uh -huh. giving of thanks. And what? And giving of thanks. What you, and what? And, and giving, giving of thanks. thanks. And you can't be partial with your giving of thanks. Amen. Your thanks can't be full of hypocrisy neither. Amen. You can't be a hypocrite when it comes down to giving thanks. Amen. And giving of thanks. Be made for all men. No, some men. All, all men. men. No, just the Israelites. All, all men. men. No, just the Israelites. For all, all men. men. Well, it was the Philistines, the, the Palestinians. They was the ones that blew them up first. Be made oh, for all men. All men. All men. Then we, let's pray that they don't do that no more. Then. Right. Amen. But don't go blow them up because they blew you up. Yeah. Amen. That's where you get wrong at. Yeah. Amen. Right. Ready Amen. evil for evil. No, sir. Right. Where the Israelites are the true people of God. They need to act like they're the true people of God. Then. I know. Uh -huh. Remember. Those so-called Palestinians, people that believe in Allah, uh -huh. they don't know the truth. Right. They walk.